Our family vision statement says, We see people who are lost and hurting, who can only be found and healed, through a relationship with Jesus Christ and His people. Well, we're not in Kajiolo anymore. Since our last update, we moved to Bamako. Some of you asked, why Bamako? Well, the reason is that here we have a certain amount of anonymity. When we were in Kajiolo, so many people brought us different things to help them with or to work on. They were all good, but in all honesty, they were a distraction from language learning. So here, we can focus. Uh, above that, we've also got a professional teacher. He used to work with Peace Corps, but since Peace Corps evacuated about a year ago, uh, he's free to work with us now. We're going to work with him 10 hours a week, and we're going to do other uh, homework assignments and different exercises. So we need someone to watch the kids. Well, just yesterday, we found a lady who's willing to help us with that. And then my mom will be here at the end of March. My mom will teach the four kids in homeschooling while the other lady watches the younger children. Some, uh, some of you have asked how we are going to measure whether or not we're doing a good job. Well, our director, he told us, if your conversation tends towards Bambara, then you're doing well. So, if we have a conversation with our neighbor and there's some words that we don't know in Bambara and some words that they don't know in French, but mostly we speak in Bambara, that's a good mark. That we'll, then we'll be done with language study and we can continue to improve it just through conversation with our friends and neighbors. So continue to pray for us. We appreciate so much those of you who ask questions and are concerned about us and are lifting us up in prayer. Well, in Bamako we have an an, an, an <laughs> Come on ladies, come on ladies. One pound fish. Six, four, five pound, one pound fish. <laughs> okay, stop, stop, stop. I got it.